What if we were looking at doing fiscal policy, right? So fiscal policy, we know ends up being, again, it has to be expansionary because we're in a recession. So it has to be expansionary. So either G is increasing or T is decreasing. And remember an increase in government purchases or a decrease in taxes, that's going to shift my IS curve. Right, my IS curve is going to go to the right, which will bring my aggregate demand curve back to the right as well. So let's see how that would be the case. We know that the IS curve is going to come back, and we know the AD curve is going to come back. And since there's no monetary policy, MP is just going to stay the same. So how will this show up? Well, what we're really trying to do is we're just trying to bring IS curve back to where it was. So we would see this being the IS curve prime and A would be point C. And the same exact thing with aggregate demand here. We try and bring aggregate demand back to where it was before. So this would be aggregate demand prime and this would be A equals C. So we would see point C there, we'd see point C there. The inflation rate comes back up and the overall output. So we close both the output gap and the inflation gap. And what that does is that brings interest rates back up to where they were before. And so with the MP curve, point C is just equal to point B. So we're just moving along the MP curve. So this would be fiscal policy of increasing government purchases or decreasing taxes. Notice the MP curve does not change because we're not doing monetary policy. What we're doing is we're shifting the IS curve back to the right, which brings this aggregate demand curve back to the right as well. Now, of course, this looks super, super easy, and this is what we should do, but we'll talk about later on in this lesson the different uh, lags that might happen with fiscal policy, with policy as a whole. And of course, we have to worry about debts and deficits, but this is what we're looking at for fiscal policy trying to handle an aggregate demand recession.